Hey YouTube, this is SportsFan1100, Season 4, Episode 3. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool logo for your video and use it as a watermark or anything else. Okay guys, so you're going to need the following programs to continue. Adobe Photoshop, any version really. This template that I've got uh, used on my other intros, you might have recognized it. And this optional background that I've got that I got off of Tech Life. It's a real nice background. You don't have to use it, but it makes your logo slash watermark real better. So um, you'll also need Sony Vegas Pro 9. I have Pro 9, but I think you can use 7 or 8. I'm not sure about 6. So once you have all those programs, um, open up Photoshop. Okay guys, so once you're in Photoshop, you want to open up a new program, or a new template. Okay, the size doesn't really matter in this case because you're opening up a file on you or a background template anyway. Well this is optional. And I'm going to open it up. This is what the template looks like. It's a really nice um um what's it called? Template. Okay, um so we're going to make a new text by hitting the text button. Okay, we're gonna make the font Hundred. Put that in the middle. We will make this. There we go. And we can make that even a little bigger probably. Maybe 450. That's pretty nice. Okay. Sorry about that. My dumb brother is in the way. Alright, um, you can color it up by using texture. Or styles. Uh, what was a really good one? Which one was it? I really liked this one. Yeah, it's this one. I like this a lot. Anyway, then you're gonna hit the check button, and there you go. You got your little thing or text right here. All right. Um, so this is good. This is all you have to do. Now, um, I'm just gonna take a quick snapshot of that with MS Paint. I like MS Paint the best, or Microsoft Paint. Oh my god, Paint. What happened to MS Paint? Oh my god, what just happened? Oh, here it is. Duh. Okay. And we're just going to get that out of the way. Okay, and we're going to edit that. Yeah, quick little tutorial on how to do this. <laughs> Sorry. Get that. New. Save. Control V. File. Save as. We'll save it on the desktop. Save it as. I don't know. Text. Okay. And now we have text right here. Alright, so now, um, I forgot, this was, uh, actually this is my final product. This is what we're going to get. So, yeah. You can do different text or whatever. Anyway, so yeah. 
Um, now we need to open up Sony Vegas. Okay, guys, so once you're in Sony Vegas, you want to open up that picture. And you will have this. Now you want to just drag this down or right click and hit insert video track and open up that template that I showed you earlier. Okay, so all you see now is the, uh, the template or the new ring template. And what you want to do is hit the event pan slash crop button, this little square button. Sorry about that. My family is kind of being a, a bitch right now. Alright. So you're just going to open that up. And as you see, the template becomes smaller. But we're not going to really deal with that right now. So you can just make that in right there. So don't worry if you see that. So hit the masking tool. And just make a mask around the circle. Get all nice. Yeah, that does look really bad, but we will fix it. Alright, now we're going to make another mask around the inside effect that's on the outside of it. So yeah. Alright, so you're going to make the, the last, so the newest one, you're going to make it negative, so you see the inside. You want your feather type to be both, and you want to go till it looks real and looks like a ring. So that looks, that looks pretty nice. Then you want to do the outside by just clicking on it. Going to actually, you can keep it on positive. Feather type is both. And just bringing it out till it looks a lot like a ring, and this that's our final product. Alright, now we can go to the position by just clicking on the position word and moving that. Oh wait, hold on. If you can, if it only moves on this on this side, you might need to hit the um, the button. Moving Y only, moving X only. And so now I'm just gonna move it freely and look at that pretty nice. Alright, that looks okay. Um, so that looks pretty nice. Um, now we are going to... Yeah, actually that looks really nice. Now we're going to s take a snapshot of that by hitting the snapshot tool and you can save it anywhere and drag that onto your track. Now you want to hit the event pan, crop, event pan slash crop button again and zoom in on it. Now this is just final effects. You can do whatever you want to in Photoshop, making it, making it a circle or anything, but this is your basic product right here. I'm just showing you how to get it basic. Um, if you really want to, you can um, do what all the great people do and circle it up and put it on Camtasia Studio and make it a really nice watermark. But this is just basic. Um, so if you didn't really want to do this, or if you didn't want to like make a real big one and waste a lot of time on it and you just want to make a real, made a really quick one, this is your way. Now you can also do um, some testing on it. I, like, I don't know, hitting the masking tool and masking it with the final product like this. And then you get like this. And um, if you had maybe, if you were publishing it in Sony Vegas and had black on your, um, like the sides like up and down on your screen, you can just put this in the small hand, like left hand corner or something hitting the position and just making the smaller grabbing it out makes it real small and you can like put it oh we need to put the mask in yeah none of those taking the feather 
and then position putting it out in like the middle and you have a nice little logo right there so that's basically how you do it so um, if you have any questions um, comment and I'll try to comment or message back so thank you for watching and I'll see you later bye